everybody, I'm Laura Shera with North American Fisherman. We are here to deliver you exciting news on the ultimate fishing machine. I'm standing here with Bill from Hummingbird, and Bill, I hear that there's some big news behind this machine right here. Big news, big news. Big news in that this is the, the future, the absolute future of fishing. For first time ever, we have the ability to look in front of the boat, not just behind the boat at what was history, but to look in front of the boat. So show me how this machine works. How, is, how are we able to look 360 degrees when you're fishing? Well, basically when we deploy the transducer or the unit itself, the 360, the 360 is looking all the way around the boat. And when it's deployed, it's going below the bottom of the boat so that it doesn't impede the view. And it gives us the ability to look all the way around or any portion thereof in 10 degree <laughs> increments. So if I wanted to isolate an area, I just go to isolate the area. And, and all I do is push my up cursor to make it smaller or tilt it. Once I've chosen the area that I want to look at, I just hit the check mark and it isolates that entire area. And instead of sweeping all the way around like a radar, it just actually focuses on that one little area of space. That's amazing. Now, how far out does it go from the boat? I was told 150 feet, is that It correct? goes out to 150 feet, which would be a 300 foot radius. This is the 360 device right here, and actually we have the opportunity to deploy it with either the unit or with the buttons on the top of the deployment device itself. And basically what we're trying to do is to get the device down below the bottom of the boat so that it doesn't impede the opportunity to look forward to the boat. It'll go down to 36 inches, or we can set the stage that we want it to deploy to on the unit by picking a percentage of deployment. Once it's set, it will go to that particular deployment every single time until we reset it. Fantastic. Now, how is this changing the way people are fishing for your average angler to pros? Well, it's easy. I mean, you think about it. Again, if we're looking at everything that's behind the boat, it's history. We got to turn around and go back to fish on that particular area. With this, we have the ability to look up on a flat without actually going up on the flat and spooking the fish. We can see which direction the fish are in. We can cast to it. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I was using it in a deep water impoundment, and I could see where the fish were in the river channel and literally turn my boat and troll right through the school of fish. Now, I heard you have images of this. Is this correct? I have incredible images. Are and they confidential? They, well, no, we're going to share, share them with you. Actually, what I did was I was out on the lake, and I, and I came across some uh, brim beds that I saw in front of the boat in seven feet of water. I went out onto the lake, and what I did was I found those brim beds, 46 feet from the boat, and I literally was able to put my cursor over them and zoom in on them. Then I isolated the area, and not only could I see the brim beds, but if you look in that second bed right here, you can actually see the fish in the bed. Unbelievable. And so then, to verify it, I grabbed the GoPro, my mask and fins, and went down, and there's the log, and there's the brim swimming off the bed as I went down to it. And there's the proof. Seven feet of water, 46 feet in front of the boat. That's the future. Wow. Now, this is definitely changing the game of fishing because people are able to stock their fish versus, like you said, going back to find them after you've gone past them one time. It gives new meaning to sight fishing with electronics. Wow. So are we going to change it to hunting or are we still going to call it fishing? Because it's almost the same thing now. It's still fishing. I can't make that's, them bite that's yet. That's right. Not that's yet. Right. Well, fantastic. When is this available to consumers? It's going to be available in early fall. Early fall. Well, you heard it here first, everybody. Make sure you check out this new machine. It's going to change the way you fish.